Bro, he tapped the grill. Your homie died, we got another B. Really drag shit, I done put my bitch in double C. You do a drill, get two for one, we call it. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video with your boy, J4. So look, y'all, in today's video, I'm going through this all-star basketball game or something like that. It's a 7th uh, uh, and 8th grade all-star basketball game. I'm going there. I actually got media passes for that game, so I'm going to be on the sideline getting all the crazy content for y'all, man. Also, I haven't been uploading because I've been at school, man. Like, school really been a hassle, like, just doing work. I be tired. I be up till 3 in the morning doing work. So, that's one reason why I haven't dropped recently. Once again, also, uh, I fixed the camera. I mean, whoa, I fixed the problem on my mic, so it's not going to make that noise no more when I turn the camera no more. Like, as I can see, your boy fixed it. You feel me? So, no more of that dumbass sound it was making before, man. So, we green on that. I don't got to buy a new mic. I still want a new camera, though, but I don't got to buy a new mic, man. But like I was saying, we ready to go to this basketball game, so I'm going to catch up when I get there. Yo, you two, we just pulled up to the gym, yo, bro. Tell me why I've never been in Odessa High School before. Bro, this school is big as fuck. Like, it's like a college. Like, this school is literally big as hell. Like, oh, my God. Hold on, yo. I'm going to show you how this is. Hold on. Let me walk down here right quick. All right, boom. So look, y'all. You start right here. You feel me? You walk down here. Like, bro, this is a high school, my nigga. This is a high school. The gym right there. But this is a high school, bro. You got up there. Mind y'all, bro. Hold on. You feel me? Like, what? Bro, this is a high school, bro. You got upstairs. It probably look normal to y'all, bro. Hold on. Focus. It probably look normal to y'all, bro. High schools in Delaware don't be this big, bro. Like, this shit's like a college, bro. Mind y'all, bro. I went to St. George's, bro. It's like a smaller high school, bro. St. George's had, like, it was a regular school. It was all one big building, bro. The gym was actually inside of uh, SG. Nigga, this school, you have to leave the actual school to go to the gym, my nigga. Like, this school is too big, bro. But like I said earlier, bro, the games didn't start yet. So I'm going to get back to y'all when everything start up and everything kick up. You feel me? Because right now, nobody really here. Like, it's a whole different event going on. So I'm going to get back to y'all when, uh, when the actual game starts. What's going on, yo? We back, bro. The game hasn't really started yet, bro. We got all the kids warming up. As y'all can see. All the kids in here warming up, bro. But I can't really record because it's a lot of copyrighted music, bro. They playing like Lil Baby and all that in here. So I can't really record in here like that. But it's no music on right now. But it's a big agenda, bro. Like they got one on ones. They got three on threes. They got uh, a guest speaker coming in. I'm not sure if y'all know who Bilal Nicholas is. He went to Hudson. He's from Delaware. He, he's in the NFL currently right now. He's in here. He's a guest speaker. And then we got Robert Wright. I'm pretty sure he's like the top ranked player in the nation. I think he goes to Newman Gretta. He committed to Baylor. He's going to be here too. I think he's a special guest as well. So. All them going to be here. I put them on the vlog for y'all, but like I said earlier, I'm going to pick up the vlog when like this game really start. Bro, I know I said it's loud music, bro, but I'm going to give y'all a small little clip, bro. You feel me? Small little clip. Talk to him, twin. What's up, bro? It's our buckets. You know, we had the king of the hills by get acting in here. Feel Young me, boys bro. Getting right. I just trying. You know, we gonna see who the best of the best for real. I'm gonna talk to him. Bro. You, you hoop, right? Yeah, for sure, bro. Uh -huh. I'm about get into the YouTube. So uh huh. I'm trying to get like my man Jay over here. You feel me, bro? I'm gonna get y'all right, bro. I'm gonna tap in with him, bro. He on TikTok too, bro. I'm, I'm gonna link all that down below, bro. You for sure, me? bro. At our buckets. You feel me? At our buckets, bro. I put it on the screen for y'all, bro. Real rap. Right. Hey. 
Yo, bro, I'm convinced. These are the biggest Avery's I've ever seen in my life, bro. They all in seventh and eighth grade, bro. These all middle schoolers, bro. Chicken. Oh. For YouTube, I'm not picking a Kim as much as I should be, bro. But like, the young boys just got done warming up, right? So basically, they're on break right now. Like, they eating snacks, they drinking water, and all that, right? So uh, it's ready to be a guest speaker. I'm not sure who the guest speaker going to be, but it's ready to be a guest speaker. After the guest speaker, they got one on one. So I'm ready to pick up the Kim either when the guest speaker gets here or when they start the ones. Either one, I don't know. It depends. Like, I'm gonna see how like how he talking, if it's interesting or not, or if it's important or not to try to see. If it's not important, I'm not gonna put it on the cam, you feel me? But once the ones start, I'm gonna definitely pick the cam up. So I'm gonna get back to y'all. Yeah, bro, before I show these ones, bro, remember, bro, earlier in, in a uh, video, bro, I told y'all, bro, these is young boys, bro, like seventh, eighth grade, like middle school level fucking kids, bro. They're young, seventh, eighth grade, so what, that's like, 13 well 12 13 maybe 14 bro y'all seen in the last clip the cuz dunked bro he's a bro he's a child bro he's dunking like what are they feeding these kids nowadays bro like why are you dunking at 12 years old 13 years old bro that's crazy bro like i'm like yo bro twin you can dunk he said yeah bro he said next layup drill i got you i'm like all right bet i cut the cam on cuz come down Hey, and bro, y'all didn't even see it, bro. Before I was even talking to Cuz, bro, I asked him that question, bro, because boom, he got the ball, came down, was dribbling, huh, huh, was dribbling, came down, he jumped, he did a spinning dunk, but he missed it, so I'm like, huh. I'm like, okay, yo, twin, you can dunk. And he did that, bro. Like, come on, bro. Mind you, he's 13, but the cousin's shorter than me, bro. I'm only about like 5'8, bro. The cousin's shorter than me, bro. And did a 360 dunk, bro, at 13 years old, bro. Come on, bro. Like I said, I'll get back to you, bro. It's crazy out here. Record, bro, I have to leave the gym because it's loud music in there and it's copyrighted, bro. But the clips that I just showed y'all before was the young boys uh, doing one on ones, bro. They was in there cooking, they was in there doing their thing, bro. But uh, I'm about to go back in there and record these three on threes for y'all because that's what they're currently doing right now, man. So I hope y'all enjoying the video so far, bro. If you are, make sure you drop a like, you feel me? Leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and everything else, bro. You feel me? Like I just said, I'm about to go in there and record these three on threes, bro. Also, my camera's ready to die, bro. I got one bar left, so I'm not gonna be doing too much more recording, bro. When the actual game starts, that's when I'm gonna really record, bro. But I'm gonna definitely record these three on threes, bro. So I'm gonna get back to y'all once I'm done doing that.
say to you is every time you're in the gym, it's an opportunity. You never know who's watching. You never know who, you never know who is looking for a shooter. You never know who's looking for you know this type of player, right? So uh, one thing that I want you guys to understand is there's always things that you can control. That is your energy and effort, your body language, your attitude. Do you guys understand? So, uh, we have two special guests um, that are here. One was hands on with you guys. And, um, you know, you guys know him. Most of you guys, I'm sure that you guys know him. Um, he's at uh, Delaware native, just like you guys. He was in, you know, settings like this, uh, working out between the good guys. Um, his hard work has led him to be a uh, Delaware Gatorade Player of the Year. I mean, excuse me, Pennsylvania uh, Player of the Year. Uh, he has reached the Final Four uh, on the Nike UIBL circuit. He has won a Triple Crown, that is a PCL uh, City and State Championship. Um, he has eclipsed a thousand points. Um, he has done everything that you guys may have dreamed of, and he's going to continue to you know, push forward. Right now, he is a starting guard for Montverde High School. Uh, they're now 30-0, and, no, um, and that is no other than Robert Wright III. Robert Wright III. So like he said, I'm Robert Wright III, right here from Wilmington, Delaware, <coughs> in the city. And I just grew up, like, ever since I was young, like, it really started to click for me at, like, 14, 13, when I, like, got to my teenage years. Started wanting to work out on my own and stuff like that. And then, like, started getting in the gym more, just getting reps and reps. Because I started watching other players and seeing, like, what I wanted to be. And, like, I just love basketball. I was a kid and playing since three, four. And I just knew that, like, it took hard work. And then I went to Philly for high school. And as a freshman, I played JV and I played varsity. But like the coach said, I wasn't gonna play on varsity at all. But then I ended up just keep like going hard in practice, not playing around, like being serious. And then first game of the season, somebody got hurt. I got in the game, scored a game in the basket. So then from there, it was really like started to build up for me. And then sophomore year, I won everything. I scored like 500 some points in the season. Junior year, scored the same amount of points. Well, I scored more. We ended up losing both championships. I missed free throws. That was a learning curve for me. Just to, you always can't get humble. Like, you gotta be humble. But you got some more stuff you can work on and stuff like that. So now, I transferred to my bird for a new obstacle, like new challenge. And I'm just playing with the best of the best and just trying to lead them. Y'all got any questions? <coughs> No questions? Nobody got no questions. Nobody already. got a question. This is your opportunity to ask a question. Y'all been waiting for this moment. I'm sure you have. Some people have <laughs> nah, never met him. Right, so ask a question. Because I'm sure you got challenge. Because like in life, you gotta get challenged and you gotta like go through obstacles to be good or like beat somebody or something. So and then playing with Cooper, oh, that's cool. It's like you know, yeah. <laughs> regular for me. It wasn't my first time playing with him at Montbert. We played at top hundred camp with on the same team. So it was like we was already playing together, so we already knew like that play. What were some adjustments you made going level to level? <laughs> really, just learning how to finish around the rim, like with bigger size like that, and then just knowing like you gotta pick your spots. Like it's like certain stuff I could do in Philly that I can't do like when I'm playing with my bird. Cause it's like it's not, it's not really a bad shot, but it's like I'm so small and like so little. You just gotta learn how to like what to do and when to do it. And like just learn how to like listen to your coaches and stuff like that because they really can teach you a lot. What's your routine for like a big game? Uh, my routine? Yeah. So normally before the game, like right now, I be I play like I don't try to get locked in too early in the morning. So like we be we be playing video games and stuff like that in the hotel, so I probably play Madden or 2K or something like that. And then like two hours before the game I start I get off the game, take a nap, and then go get some food. And then I'm just listening to music the whole way there. And then I get locked in. Mm -hmm. So what made you move from, uh, like, go to Delaware to PA to Florida? Uh, what motivated you to do that? Really, that was me and my dad. We were just having conversations. Because we just felt like in, in Delaware, I couldn't get, like, if I did everything I did in Delaware that I did in Philly, I wouldn't get the same respect nationally. So it's just like just going to a bigger state. But uh, yeah, just a little bit about myself. My name Bilal Nichols. You feel me? Originally born in Chester, Pennsylvania. Uh, moved to Delaware when I was about 13 years old. 
Uh, went to high school down here, went to Hassanville Tech. Started off funny. Came out of high school, had two offers. Motherfuckers weren't really fucking with me like that. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real. You know what I'm saying? So in my head, I felt like I was better than every other boy that was out there. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, I only had two offers. So that right there drove me every day. Drove me. My two offers, I'll never forget it. It was a, uh, it was a uh, University of Delaware and James Madison. And I remember Rutgers came in late, probably like a week before signing day with a throwaway offer. And that was a slap in the face to me. But just like those type of things, like that created the dog in me. You know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it. I'm, I'm a seven year vet that graduated, came out and got drafted out of the University of Delaware and not many people do that. I'm at 95 career games with 87 starts in the NFL and not many people do that. A lot of that happens through hard work and dedication. <coughs> Y'all gotta understand, like it's a lot of things that Y'all gonna have to sacrifice and y'all gonna have to give up in order to be great. If you chasing a dream and you really wanna reach something like you say you wanna do, you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot of things. You can't have time to fuck around on the video games. You gotta go in the gym and put in the work. You don't got time to chase chase this person or that person. You gotta go in there and put in the work. You gotta respect the grind. Cause you only gonna get out of it what you put into it. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of it was a lot of work that, that came with being able to be in this position, being able to take care of my family, be able to wear nice things, nice jewelry. There was a lot of work that happened to get to this point. And I want y'all to understand that I came from the same shit that y'all came from. I came from the same places that y'all came from. Y'all can get to this same exact place and be even better than me. Ain't nobody stopping y'all but y'all selves. And that's real. So I just want y'all to know, man, just continue to to, to work hard, work harder than anybody else. Be the hardest working person in your family. Be the hardest working person in your circle. Cause that's the only way you're gonna be able to reach your full potential. So, yeah. so, you know, any questions? Anybody got any questions? Any, you know, what position do you play? I play defensive tackle. I play, I play everything on the front. I play defensive tackle, defensive end, stand up end, whatever. I just, you know, I'm a dog. Whatever I need to play. You know what I'm saying? That's my mentality. So, um, I think I'm like a 79 maybe, 79, 80. You feel me? Something like that. You feel me? What team do you play for? The uh, Raiders. Play for the Raiders. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. Yeah. Like, bro, you said color. Why would he be wearing another team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You feel me? You know, feel me? My cam ready to die. They just started doing five on five. So I'm ready to show y'all some of that before my cam dies, bro. So I don't know. I'm going to get back to y'all. They were trying to kill you, Twan. I just got home, as y'all can see. Which I probably like, OJ4, who holding the camera for you? Nobody, bro. I just didn't feel like vlogging, so I set the camera up, you feel me? But uh, towards the end of the, uh, the tournament, my camera died, bro. So the full game that I was talking about, I was going to record for y'all. I recorded like one clip off my camera and like three off my phone. So, and the clips that I did record had music in it. So I don't know if I can put it on YouTube or not. So 
I'm gonna really see what I can do with that when I go to edit this video, bro. So if y'all see it, y'all see it. If y'all don't, y'all don't. You feel me? But I'm about to end the video here, bro, because there's nothing going on, bro. It's rainy outside, bro. I don't feel like going nowhere at all, bro. And I'm also about to go get something to eat from Chick Fil A, bro. I haven't ate all day, bro. It's like five o'clock, bro. So hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. If so, make sure you like the video. Drop, drop a comment too. Drop a comment. Uh, subscribe. Turn on notifications, and I'll catch y'all next time, bro. Peace out. I'm gonna back in it, know it been a minute. Save a penny pitch, but trust me, it's a difference. I got this hot A, and she got a pretty kitty. To go to my place, yeah, I'm about to hit it, hit it. Back out of Maybach, smoking what's the size of Phillies. You suck a straight bag.